uh, I guess that's it for the Microsoft side of things. Okay. Now let's do this. Ooh. Backlog. 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 For the record, it's exactly nine o'clock. We nailed it. <laughs> wow. All right. Look at that. Baby. Uh, welcome to the backlog, guys. Uh, Will, what is the backlog? Backlog is a segment of the Wolf Den podcast uh, where we go through our entire video game collection, every game we've ever bought over the past almost 40 years now, because I'm an old fart, uh, gets put into an Excel spreadsheet. And today we're going to pick one at random and talk about it, regardless of whether or not we've played it. Over 900 games in this beast. Yeah. So uh, let's pick one. We're doing right. number 583. 583. And that would be Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy for the PlayStation 4. Oh, this is all you. I this did, is me. I did not play this at all. Yes. There's a second one? No. No. Okay. No, there's a, there's a Telltale Guardians of the Galaxy game. Oh. But this is the one made by uh, Square Enix. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So this is an interesting game. This game came, I heard a lot of great things about this game. This game came out in the shadow of uh, Square Enix's Avengers game, which mm -hmm. sucks. <laughs> it's a bad game. It, it thought, what's a good uh, genre for the Avengers? Destiny. And they made a Destiny, a, a shitty Destiny for the Avengers. Guardians of the Galaxy is not that. It is a single player, story focused game. You play as Star Lord and only Star Lord. No, nobody else plays as the other guardians and you go on this um really lengthy uh adventure throughout the galaxy uh just doing uh typical guardian stuff you gotta save the universe at one point uh it's very clearly it's one of those situations where you look at it and you're like okay this is clearly inspired by the movie yeah but i to that i say what else is it going to be inspired by <laughs> Like the movie, the movie is like very clearly defined Guardians of the Galaxy in the same way that the Blade movies define Blade for everyone. Because comic book Blade is very different from movie Blade. Uh -huh. and comic book Guardians is very different from movie Guardians. So they just copy what people know. Oh, I feel like comic book Guardians is going to start homogenizing. Okay, they already have. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So what I know about this game is that it's all about, it's very story heavy. There's a dialogue trees yeah. and it's all about your relationship with the other members of. Yes. Of the and garden. that's all very cool. Mm -hmm. Cause like what you say, like does affect how the rest of the team like treats you and like helps you out. Cause like there's a part early on where you have to bridge a gap. And one of your options is to just take rocket and throw them across the gap. If you take that route, he'll be mad at you and won't help you later in the game. And you have to actually repair your relationship with him. Mm -hmm. So, this, like I said, the story is very long, but it, it does work and it is satisfying and it is very emotional. And that's all great. The actual gameplay of it, though, mm -hmm. is kind of weak. Okay. Because the problem with uh, the actual gameplay of Guardians, and you kind of see it on screen here, is there's a lot of like linear exploration, there's a combat section, and then it's back to linear exploration. Like there's very little variety in the game itself. You'll, you'll come to a point, you'll explore it a little bit, try to figure out where to go. You got to use your abilities, your team's abilities to try and explore the land. And then you'll get to a combat point and then uh, you and your team have to combine together to try and beat the horde of enemies and then move on. And then you'll get to a cutscene, and that's where the dialogue trees come in. And it's like rinse and repeat for like 12 hours. Mm -hmm. And that, and look, it's fun in the beginning, but after a while you kind of get bored with the way the game is structured like you know what you know what the beats are you know what's going to happen it becomes too uh it becomes very rhythmic in like what you're doing i'd imagine that a game like this is uh pretty generic in the in the actual gameplay like what you're doing yeah you're just kind of playing it so, because you like the characters and you want to see where the characters yeah go. like the i'll tell you the art direction in this game is beautiful mm -hmm. it's got tremendous style 
they tr- they go for the um, the soundtrack feel of like the movies and they picked like great songs on the soundtrack so like it's it's style makes up for a lot in the game because like the substance loses itself by the end I, i'm i always forget that you only play as star lord yeah it, it feels weird you know what I think happened? I think this was going to be a multiplayer game mm-hmm. and this was going to be, I don't want to say live servicey, but it was going to be like an online co-op type thing. Yeah. And then they saw the negative reaction to Avengers and had to quickly like change course. Interesting. So uh, that that's just like a theory of mine. I don't know if that's true, but I feel like it could very well be true. You would have to change the scope really early on in the game to just not let you play three other characters yeah you know well okay so actually there's four other characters right yeah well there, yeah there's star lord there's uh drax gamora rocket and Groot. there's five there's five other characters besides oh no no star star lord and four others yes yeah okay uh so yeah i mean it would make sense to have a four player co-op game yeah but having five are, are, are there always five when you're fighting people yeah, well, no, cause sometimes uh, Gamora will like go off and do her own thing. There are a lot of like. I think there's five here. Yeah, in this there's five here. Right now. Okay. But there are parts like it flashes back to Peter's childhood mm-hmm. and you play as like a young Peter Quill um, exploring like the farm he grew up on. So there's like parts where you're separated from the team or like the team goes right. off and does their own thing. Um, but for the most part, you know, it's the five of you like exploring like yeah. these planets. There are some. Uh, some sections of the game where you do play, you get to fly the ship and mm-hmm. get to do space combat stuff. And that's cool. That like breaks things up a little bit, but those come like in between those come like few and far between uh, the traditional. What is happening right now? All right. So this is a part of the game. <laughs> like when you're in a combat section, okay. if you're getting overwhelmed and you have enough, like a, I forget what bar it is. If it's filled up, you can bring the team in for a huddle and you can give them a pep talk. And at the end of the pep talk, Peter hits play on his uh, cassette player and they like fight to music. Okay. And that's where like the, the pop music soundtrack comes in. That sounds dumb. Is it dumb? It's, it's the fun kind of dumb. Okay. Because like you get a boost and like you get to do combat to like, I forgot what the hell's on the soundtrack, like uh, kickstart my heart by Motley Crue or like tainted love or songs like that. Okay. You know, like it's fun and like it's got enough of a variety of a soundtrack where like you don't hear the same song like twice in a row. Hmm. So that's cool. But again, that's like it's just a, you know, a rinse and repeat thing that you do. Cuz I feel like every time I was in a combat situation, I did have to do that. Okay. Just so like to get through. It looks like you use uh canned abilities from other characters like Groot will like hold them in place yeah like you can command like Groot will hold them in place uh rocket has like his rocket launcher to attack gamora can um quick cut the enemies and also too like their abilities also come into play with like exploration like drax can move heavy objects gamora can cut things down uh Groot can create bridges and stuff so it's all about like using the team to like get through the level and okay. like because you're star lord you're the leader so it's about you becoming the leader of this team okay whether they want you to be the leader or not did you beat it i did did you like it i did i don't know if i would necessarily recommend it though because it does get repetitive and because it is like it's a long game and i feel like it's easy to get burnt out by the end it review i remember it reviewed well i remember it sold yeah people liked it james gunn even said he liked it like okay. when he played it. So on PS5, it got an 80 on Metacritic. Yeah. I played PS5? the PS4. Yeah, they did a PS5 version. Oh, okay. I played the PS4 version. So, like, I, it's, I know it's always on sale. So, like, if you see it for a good price, like, check it out. Um, or I think it's on, I don't know if it's on Game Pass or PlayStation Plus or whatever. Um, I have no idea. I would definitely say, like, it's definitely a try before you commit type of deal. Okay. That's, that's what I have to say. I will not be playing. It okay. Because uh looks like a B game. And uh by now it's 
to Fargo. <laughs> it, it is very much a B game. Unless I, you I think love that, Guardians. If you're, if you're big into Guardians, if you like the movies, maybe. It, it's definitely like a, a good Guardians experience. I just don't know if it's the Guardians experience mm -hmm. you want, you know? I understand. Yeah. Uh, and usually we say why we bought it, but you bought it and you played the whole thing. So I, I, think, I, got it as a, a I think I got it as a Christmas gift. Oh. Because I did want it. I did want to play it. And I liked it for a time. And then after a while, I was just like, doing this a lot. <laughs> Johnny Rex in the chat says it was free on EGS recently. At the game, game store. store. Oh, okay. there you go. There you go. Look, yeah, look so out for you... one of the, put it on your wish list, your Steam wish list. Maybe it'd be a yeah. dollar one day. I've been wish listing stuff. Oh, have you? Yeah. Oh, so was I. And then you know what happened? Steam deck broke. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching <laughs> the backlog. Uh, come to a podcast sometime. Yeah. Uh, Let's see the rest of the show, not just the backlog part. But uh, if you're just watching the backlog, subscribe for more backlog and goodbye. Bye.